got involved in Bling Empire um, two, three years ago. You know, when the whole, when the movie Crazy Rich Asians came out, there was a huge demand to know who these people are in real life. And my friend Kelly, you know, she's always been in entertainment and, you know, she's like, hey, um, she had this idea, let's do a reality show. So we kind of, you know, just gathered, um, you know, some friends that we know and we who, who, who would think, who we think that will be great for the show. And, you know, we pitched it to our mutual friend, Jeff Jenkins. And Jeff, as you know, is the uh, um, producer of The Simple Life, Mariah's World, The Kardashians. And, you know, that's how the show started. My friends invited me to the premiere. I'm like, I'm not going. I don't want to watch a like crazy rich show. You know, I just thought the, the connotations of being rich can come off as like negative and obnoxious and rude and like, you know, just in your face. And I gave it a chance. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to watch it. And I thought it was shot beautifully. I know some of the cast members and, you know, I thought it highlighted Singapore so well because after the entire show, like it put Singapore on the map. And, you know, I'm so proud of the show and it's the success of it. And also I have to give credit for the show because without the show, you know, I don't think this reality show would be possible because there wouldn't be a demand for, you know, a show like that. From all the, you know, comments and stuff, we're making people laugh. I think laughter is so important in this, you know, uh, crazy time we're living in. I think the biggest challenge was trusting the whole process because for the three months of filming, all of us, our friends to begin with and we talk to each other. So during the entire filming process, we're not allowed to talk to each other because then that spoils the reactions. The producer obviously wants to capture all the emotion on like on camera. So I think that the hardest part was trusting the producers to do their jobs. And you know, in the first two weeks it was difficult, but I think in the end it, it just it was it was so easy. And the producers also made it very easy as well. Uh, doing a reality series was never my dream or just being in entertainment alone, like. If you look at my Instagram, yes, I'm really, you know, flashy. I show a lot of fashion stuff, but, you know, the core of me, I'm actually a very private person. I don't have many friends. I don't really go to party. I don't drink. I don't smoke. You know, I go to yoga. I do meditation. You know, most people would say I'm bipolar, but, you know, Instagram is just an online persona. If you actually really know me, I'm actually, you know, my friends were like, let's go to Vegas tomorrow. And I'm like, I just want to spend time with my cat. You know, <laughs> real estate was something I think um, that, my family has always invested in real estate and made money through real estate. I just like the um, just owning an asset and also at the same time able to look at it and also kind of put my own spin on it. So my goal in real estate is obviously to create like a huge like empire and like just just be able to rent stuff out and like just create a nice community. Uh, and because I think I have a good eye for that. So yeah, that's why I gravitated to doing real estate. Yeah. I actually had a meeting today. I'm working on like, uh, you know, I love pandas. And so I'm getting a line of panda, like sweatshirts. You know, I think everyone loves pandas. I've never seen someone that hates pandas. You know, it's just so cute. So I'm gonna do like a sweatshirt line of pandas. And also I'm working with one of our cast members, Kevin. We're working on like a supplement line together because he comes from a background of fitness and health. So the only smart thing was to do like a, a supplement. My favorite Singapore dish would be kaya toast. I think that was shown on the Singapore Independence Day on an episode. I don't know what episode, but like we shown it, we showed it. It's like it's just bread, and with you know this, it's like the peanut butter of Singapore. I would call that you know kaya toast. It's it's freaking amazing. It's with butter. It's fat. It's fattening, but it's so worth it. Sneakers is this the most obvious one? You know, my biggest love is jewelry, and I always you know love jewelry growing up. So maybe that might be in the works to do like you know jewelry line, and you know the biggest splurge will have to be jewelry. I mean, shoes are nothing compared to you know my jewelry uh, purchases. I love precious stones because I think you know everyone's like so into diamonds and diamonds, diamonds. You know, but I love precious stones. Like my favorite stone are sapphires. My favorite designers would be, you know, Cartier for sure. Um, Dior, I think, is doing amazing in terms of getting, you know, the whole mass market to, you know, um, you know, they've been able to kind of hit the mass market through their collaborations with Nike. Um, you know, I think Louis Vuitton, the house of L LVMH has been genius at just reaching out to the mass, like, you know, Rimoa with Fendi, Louis Vuitton with uh, Supreme. So, you know, and yeah, just, I, I just love like Dior. I find Dior is a, a very simple, but at the same time understated um, elegance. 
there was important being successful at an early age because I was forced to. So growing up, you know, I went to like the best schools, you know, and all my friends were like chauffeur in Rolls Royces and stuff. And, you know, my dad, you know, was like, you need to, he put me, you know, just, he was like, he used to drop me at the bus stop and he'd like, take the bus to school, right? I was like, dad, why are you taking the bus? Why don't you take the public bus, right? So he wanted to instill that, you know, the, the uh, just independence in us growing up. Because my grandparents came from nothing, from communist China. And so I had to always, you know, my dad tried to instill that in us. And I was like, you know what, F this, I'm going to make my own money. So I took a loan, a small loan from my dad when I was 17. Um, and I paid him back in two months. And, you know, just, just being independent, I think, is, uh, is important because it comes with no strings attached.